He fine, he fly. You know it's Captain Khan. What's up, guys? Malakar, Captain Khan. Welcome back to another V Ski Man. Another V Ski. Just part three. Miami Sneaky Link. Um, play time. So finish it off here. This is gonna have to be a long one if it's a long one, but I'm gonna finish it off here. Jesus and it's basically gonna be all the final details of what y'all been waiting on. It was a good, fun moment. Like I said, this trip in Miami was fun. Disclaimer. If you're homophobic, this video is not for you. Another disclaimer, if you're my family, click off this video. This video is not for you. Go watch one of my vlogs. Shout out to everybody that was in the story. Still got love for y'all. That, that don't change nothing, but story got to get told, and I'm going to tell it. Let's start off with... <laughs> Let's start off with, okay, I haven't go watch part one and part two to be caught up and know what's going on. This is the last part. Okay, so a brief recap. I was going to Miami for spring break. I'm from Miami, so I didn't have no problem like flying out there because I have a place to stay and all that. And I decided like, hey, like, let me like meet some of, some of the friends that were coming out there to Miami at the time. So I ended up getting in contact with somebody that I was, I thought was a really good friend. And then we got Jesus out here. K. And it turned into something a little bit more than that for the little time that we were there. And yeah, that's basically what this story is about. Let's get into it. You know, next morning, I woke up and everything. And I think I got up earlier this morning because I had work, y'all. My aunt owns her own business. And I basically worked for her like a couple days just to make some extra dollars while I was out in Miami. One, because I spent all the money that I came out there with. And two, because... You know, I get to spend time with her, and that's a whole different story time. If y'all want that story time on why I'm not really as cool with my Miami family as my Chicago family, then y'all let me know. Like, I was like, I gotta get up for work and everything, so I leave their house. My job, they stay in Davie. I leave their house at like 6.30 to 7 o'clock. Nobody was up, so I just was like, all right, I'm leaving. The B&B had like a little key lock thing, so you just click the lock button when you leave the house. Me and Papaya didn't do nothing. Okay, so I go back to where I'm staying, take a shower, I get dressed and everything, basically head to work. While I was at work, I wasn't really expecting no text messages or anything. They were talking about going to the beach again. I mean, that's what they're here for, spring break, go to the beach, have fun, spend money, that type of thing. So I couldn't come because I had work and I was getting off at around seven, Jesus six o'clock. So while I'm there, I wanna say maybe it was like 11 o'clock. And I just started getting texts from Papaya like, good morning. I didn't expect for you to hit me up while I was at work or anything like that. Not saying you had to, but you know. So I'm like texting Papaya back. I'm like, yeah, da 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 da, I'm here. I wish I was hanging out with y'all. I'm just trying to make some pay because this trip expensive as fuck. The whole, the whole shebang, whatever the case is. And Papaya's like, it's like, I'm just gonna chill by myself. They left me because they said I was taking too long. I'm like, I'll come hang out with you afterwards when I get off of work and all that. And I was like, I think I was getting off at like four that day or something like that. But I had to meet up with my friends afterwards. He was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Aventura Mall. And then he was like, I'm finna see if they got like something nice because I want to buy something nice because his birthday had just passed. And so I was like, that's that's strange that that happened. But I guess, I guess they, they basically were starting to like pick up pieces of like what's going on. So I guess they didn't want no drama. It was Pineapple Story and Strawberry Story. They were like posting with each other. Pineapple is like the group of friends that I know. And then Strawberry and Mango and Honeydew is the group of friends that Papaya knew. Strawberry and Pineapple were like posting with each other and I guess they were hanging out again for another day. Papaya out by, by himself at the B&B. Like why y'all ain't bring Papaya? Like it's weird to me, but I'm like, okay. I was thinking like they probably on or something cause there's no way y'all just start acting weird out of the blue. I finally get off of work and I go hang out with my friends, Emery and Ali Denia, you know what I'm saying? They were in my Brent Fires vlog, so go watch my Brent Fires vlog if you haven't seen it already. We went and we got boiling crab and y'all, I over ordered food. I thought I was getting like, like one pound of shrimp. I ended up ordering two pounds of shrimp and paying like $40. And then we went and got ice cream at this cool place. We had like nitro ice cream. It was so dope. I just kept checking in with, um, Papaya as I went along. So Papaya's like, okay, I'm gonna take a nap and let me know when you're here. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna be there in like 30 minutes after we got ice cream or whatever the case is. We get the ice cream 
and i had got papaya some ice cream too i was like what type of flavor do you want and papaya was like um pick for me and i was like why would you have me pick for you and i barely know you but i was like okay so i forgot what type of ice cream i got papaya but i think i got papaya like caramel or something or i just forgot. i just didn't give papaya none of the ice cream and just gave him the crab one I head by papaya and everything and i'm like i'm on the way papaya is like i'm getting ready now so I pull up to the B&B and everything. It's kind of early, but it's kind of late at the same time. Walk in the B&B, I already had the code because Papaya gave me the code. And I'm just waiting on Papaya. Papaya's like, oh, I'm trying to pick out an outfit and they're being weird. And Papaya was like, I got something to tell you. I'm like, what you got to tell me? Y'all, why Papaya told me that Strawberry and Mango and them found the condoms, but they didn't tell Honeydew yet. So we were like, okay, cool. Like, at least Honeydew don't know, because Honeydew would have already been off the hinges. I had told Emery and Aledenia, they were like, yeah, don't be in that B&B, don't spend the night, don't do none of that, because that would just cause more problems. And I'm going to hang out with Papaya for the rest of the trip, because it's fun, and I like, and I'm like, having fun. Like, I'm not going to stop having fun just because of what they got going on. Like I said, that's what they got going on. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Back to it. I'm not phased or anything, but I'm like, oh, like, they found it. Like, we should we didn't do a good job at hiding it, I guess. Papaya, me and Papaya get in the car and we like, where we going? I'm like, um, club, like beach, like food. And Papaya's like, I really want food. And I'm like, well, everything is closed, but I got this crab boy. You can have this crab boy. And you know what I'm saying? Like we could drive around for a little bit and if we don't find nothing, let's just go to the beach. Um, throughout this whole thing, I'm gonna have like pictures, like kind of some pictures and stuff of like what was going on in my day. So y'all can kind of see what's going on. So yeah, so we like, we like um, drive around. We looking for like a club. No club is really open for real. Like all the, cause it was a Wednesday, I think. It was like a Wednesday or Thursday and it wasn't open late. It was like, all right, let's just go to the beach. So, you know what I'm saying? This was like our first date, as we can call it. Like it was a first date, like us, just us. And we just it was like, Let's ride out and we're riding out and I take Papaya to Hollywood Beach. Now me, I wasn't looking for anything after this Miami trip, but I was just like, you know what I'm saying, while I'm here, let's have a little daty date. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a little daty date. Let's let's just, you know what I'm saying, like vibe as friends. Who fucked? And it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like we get to the parking and everything. The parking's like ten dollars. And off the rip, Papaya's like, I got you. It's whatever. And so he sends the money. I'm like, and in my head, I'm just like thinking, I'm like, ah, oh, like, this is the type of people I'm looking for. Like, I like, I just, I was going through like friendship PTSD over the, over the spring semester where people would just constantly like, where people would just constantly like be like, oh, I'll send you the money, but they never sent it. But with Papaya, it was like, okay, I got you. Like, it's, it's no waste of time. Like, it's not, I don't feel like, am I gonna get this money back? Like, like this is the type of people I be looking for, and then we got out the car. We had did like a picnic, so we had we had ended up grabbing the towel. We had a bottle of Don Julio. You know what I'm saying that was that was basically all about our phones and all that. And the crazy thing about it is just everything was kind of lovey dovey in a sense. Like it was cute, it was real cute. So like I like I give y'all like a breakdown of everything. Like so I'm driving and we're like driving through the highway and stuff. Playing the music, letting the music play, we vibe and we talking. Papaya was like, no phones, like just a conversation between us. Like we're not gonna look at our phones. We'll play the music, but besides that, we're not gonna look at our phones. Phones on, do not disturb type shit. We just having a natural like conversation, like a good conversation. Just getting to know each other even more, like on a personal level. And it was like it just made everything intimate. Like it was just, it was just, it was just, oof, it was nice. And I like stuff like that. I like when it's a one-on-one, -on -one, what is it like quality time? Like, I guess that's the love language I like. Quality time and it was just, it was just hitting that night. We was like, let's look for some, I think we was looking for some food. We was looking for some drinks, I think. So before we sat down and everything, we went to like this bar, like the Chicago pizza type bar. And we had found, he had ended up getting him something to drink. I didn't give me nothing to drink because I didn't need nothing to drink. I was like, I get some water, like I'm chilling. Get the water and then we walk back. Like I want to say it was like a cool seven blocks there, seven blocks back. And we go sit 
on the beach. We sitting up there on the beach, like we lay down the, the blanket and everything. Papaya eating a crab boil. You know me, when I get a crab boil, I get that shrimp. I get that shrimp with the sauce and then I get the extra sauce and I get lemon so you can like squeeze the lemons in there, mix the sauce up real well. It be, oh. I be, I be, I be put, I be putting on for the boils when I get a boil, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be really doing the dang thing when I order me a crab boil or a seafood boil. So, we just sitting there chatting some more and everything, and I remember it was something he said, he was like, like, he was like, it's your word, I'm just in it. And I'm like, I mean, we could share it, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, and we just like, we like kissing on the beach, holding hands, we walking on the beach, we like, dipping our toes in the water. We just doing like couple shit. <laughs> we were just doing couple shit and it was so nice. And it was like a vibe. One point, Papaya's like, um. So like, where do you see this going? Like, you know, where, like what do you, how do you think this is, this is gonna end up? And I was like, how do you feel? Cause that's really how I was going off. I'm like, how do you feel? I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not looking for, I'm not forcing that thing. Like, how do you feel? And then we can go from there. So Papaya's like, well, but I feel like it's not gonna last because we long distance. Papaya is from Georgia, and I'm from Chicago and Miami, and I'm going to school in Nashville. Like, it's just I'm all over the place, not in Georgia, and Papaya's in Georgia. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, it's it's not really. I don't, I don't expect nothing out of this. Like, like if it's just a trip, it's just a trip. But you know, at least as long as we have fun. You know what I'm saying? And let's just make the most of the moment. Like, it don't gotta be nothing after this. Like, we could just be friends. It don't gotta be nothing after this. And Papa was like, we, we could still be friends, like, and don't be weird, like, don't hit me up. Like, we could be friends and then we can, like, chat it up and every now and again ca catch up with each other. I'm like, cool, like, I could do that. Like, we didn't talk, we're not ending on bad terms, and it's a good, like, you know what I'm saying? If we decide to go on another trip and we hit each other up and we say, let's do it, then it could be another trip where we just f fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was cool with it. Papaya was cool with it. And so I was like, yeah. I feel like it could work, but I'm not rushing nothing. Like, it is what it is right now. And I feel like this is what it is. And if it lasts, it lasts. And if it don't, it don't. We're not on bad terms because we, we fuck one time. Like. After that conversation, it was a relief because then we just kept like being on the beach doing a couple shit and then, uh, you know, we got into some things, just a little bit of things. I ain't going to say too much. We did a little bit on the beach and, you know, all I'm going to say is Papaya was like, I'm going to for you. Like and I was just like, ooh, <laughs> I love that. And like on top of that, we was just sipping on the bottle, but like I wasn't getting drunk. I wasn't getting drunk off that Don Julio, for real. I don't know if it's because I built up so much tolerance from like all the the liquor we've been drinking for the past couple days, but by that day, I was just like, okay, like sip, sip, it's whatever. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't really affecting me. So after like, I'm gonna say a couple more hours, we watched, we literally almost watched the sun rise type shit, y'all. It was about four, five, six o'clock and we were on the beach Papaya's friends was even like, oh, can Malachi come get us? Da 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 da. And Papaya was like, yeah. Nah, Malachi can't come get y'all. Like, y'all all the way over there. We all the way over here. Y'all took an Uber, take an Uber back. We just vibed out on the beach. And it was it was a nice time. Eventually, that had to come to an end. It was a nice night. And all I could keep replaying in my mind was the lyrics by Mariah the Scientist. And this ain't gonna last forever. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? This is a moment that I always cherish. Like, I dropped Papaya off back at the B&B, and I didn't stay that night, y'all. It was already like five, and I had work the next morning. And I had work in like literally three hours. And was, that was day, that was night three, day three, whatever y'all want to call it. It wasn't, it wasn't too much, but it was a little tea juice. And so, yeah, I really appreciated it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the quote of the day. All right, so the quote of the day is, we are always gifted the opportunity to choose. This applies to every aspect of ourselves, our thoughts, emotions, perceptions, and even our beliefs. Um, if you made it this far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We still got about like half more, halfway to go to finishing this story time. I'm excited to bring it to a close, so let's do that. <laughs> All right, so where did I leave off? 
So yeah, that was the next night and I basically just went straight into go to work the next morning. Papaya is hanging out, not by himself this time. Papaya is actually hanging out with the group again. And they, I guess they really just chilled that day. They were getting, they, I think everybody was getting party out. I was getting party out. And so they basically was, I don't know what they did in that time frame, but all I know is that Papaya still like kept up with me, but was also like, oh, I got to talk to you about something later. And that night, I was going to meet up with my friend who came into town. My friend at the time had came into town. We're going to give my friend's name Cucumber. All these fruit names, bruh. Cucumber had came into town, and I was like, all right, Papaya, well, I'm going to come hang out with y'all. This y'all last night and everything, I'm going to come hang out with y'all, but I got to pick up Cucumber from the airport and everything and bring Cucumber to the hotel. Cucumber was like one of my best friends at the time. Cucumber check in and everything. You know, we, this is the first time me and Cucumber I ever met in person, but we've been, I've known Cucumber for like, yeah, it was like nine months, almost a year of me knowing Cucumber, but this is the first time that I've seen Cucumber in person. Me and Cucumber, we like, what's the moves, what we doing? Cucumber like, we could go get a bottle, we could go do this, and then we can go to the party downtown. So I was like, it was, and the party wasn't really downtown. It was like, like mid, it wasn't mid, it was like Midtown, Wynwood area. So, me and Cucumber, we go get a bottle. And then after we get the bottle, we also go to get Cucumber his little, I don't personally indulge, but Cucumber did. So Cucumber had got his little thing and then drove to the area and we was about to meet up with um, Papaya, Strawberry, Mango, and Honeydew. And Papaya like just comes to me instead of going to the, the club or whatever. And Papaya's like, oh, it's something I gotta tell you. I'm like, okay, tell me. He's like, I don't wanna tell you in front of Cucumber. And I'm like, Cucumber already know about us and everything, so it's not that big of a deal. And he go, Strawberry told Honeydew about the condoms and everything. Took an Uber, Strawberry texted Honeydew everything that was going on, instead of just saying it out loud. What really threw me off was the fact that Strawberry was like, she found out she didn't say nothing, and then she told Papaya's other friends that weren't there what happened, but didn't tell Papaya that she that she found out. But then, after Papaya and Honeydew got cool, Strawberry want to stir up some more drama. I'm like, that's y'all friend, that's not my friend, so me, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna stay out of it, but come on now, that was messy, Strawberry. Hands up in the air, I'm like, okay. So what's, like, what's the dealie? Papaya's like, yeah. yeah. Honeydew's real upset now, and they don't, they don't, like, they not hanging out with me. I don't want to hang out with them. I'm, I don't know why Strawberry would say that. So I'm like, okay, cool. So, I'm like, we don't have to go there. We can go somewhere else. Let's keep walking around this area and let's see what else is going on. So, me, Cucumber, and Papaya, we start walking around and we end up in, like, this um, little plaza area type vibe. It looked like it had, like, it had, like, a bunch of decor all on the walls and stuff. And it had, like... Like these, like just mural and uh, murals and art everywhere. And so we like we go upstairs in the plaza because we hear music going on and it's like EDM. I don't know. We was like, oh, it's a white people party. So I'm like, let's go to the white people party, y'all. And they were like, let's do it. I always wanted to go. Did it? Papaya's like, I always wanted to go. Cucumber's like, okay, like. And so the funny thing is, y'all, cucumber has a fake ID and Papaya is 21. I'm the only person that's 18 at the time, 18 at the time with no other like credentials to like let me in the party. So we walk up to the guy, look at Papaya ID, cool. Cucumber show his ID, the security guy says he's clear. And then it's me and the security guy look at my ID and the security guy's like, um, yeah, you're not 21, bro. I'm sorry, you can't go in. And I'm like, ah. Oh. And so, I just was like, I just acted a little distraught. And I was, well, y'all have fun. I just wait out here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. What can I do? And then the security guard changes his mind because he realized it's just me. And then they, he's like, well, you could go in there. Just don't, don't go up to the bar and don't do none of that. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm looking at the bar. I'm seeing what type of drinks they got, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, hmm. But I didn't end up buying nothing. I was like, I'm not paying all that money for no drink. Y'all go sit down. 
and we just like having a conversation. We all talking. Papaya's off to the side, like texting up a storm. And I'm just like, oh, I remember them days. Well, I never remember them days because I never had to like argue over text or like talk over the text or whatever the case is. I, I call Papaya over. I'm like, Papaya, what's going on? And Papaya's like, oh, I'm texting Honeydew. Honeydew feel like this, Honeydew feel like that. And I'm like, and me, I was just like, listen, I totally understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, this is like inevitable. Like at this point, y'all already fought. Y'all came out to Miami. You done already been, I don't care personally, but you already low key been talking to somebody else. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't like feed into Honeydew's feelings. Like, yeah, you can feel bad, but at the same time, it didn't happen. It didn't happen when y'all were together. This happened like after y'all were together and you said you done, right? So you shouldn't stress over that. Like it's it's no reason to feel bad because because Honeydew and his feelings, because Honeydew found out about something that Honeydew really ain't have to find out about, but Strawberry wanna snitch. Pie's like listening, but then he's kind of like getting stressed out by how I'm talking about it. Cause I guess he's just like overthinking it. Once we hung out, once we hung out, it was like, it was getting to like three in the morning. It was like two or three in the morning. I was like, let's just go see downtown one more time before we all leave or whatever the case is. And the crazy thing is y'all, as as like we were walking out of the the little club or whatever, the little oons oons club, Honeydew and Strawberry and Mango were walking out too. And you know what I'm saying? Honeydew was like distraught. Strawberry was like, oh my God, like, Mango was like, Hey, it was nice meeting you, Malachi. You know, aside from the drama that's going on, you're like a really cool person. It was real nice meeting you. Mango. That's why I love me some Mango. Mango knew how to separate the situation from the person. And that's just what Honeydew and them could just didn't really, like, do. Like, they were still, like, hung over the fact that, like, what happened happened. But it's like, it wasn't when y'all were together. I would never do that. And it just is what it is at this point. We riding around and we going to, we decided like, after we looked at all the nice buildings, the pretty buildings, we was like, let's go to IHOP and let's get some food. And by this time it was getting real close to Papaya's flight. Papaya literally had to, had a flight at like six in the morning to get back to Atlanta. You know saying Papaya was like, all right, well, it's getting close when I gotta go. I'm finna call an Uber and all that. But yeah, so we get the IHOP and everything. Me and Cucumber get out and Papaya was like, I'ma just stay in the car. Next thing you know, I get a text while I'm waiting at IHOP and Papaya's like, hey, like, you know, can you come to the car real quick? And so I go to the car and Papaya's like, Hey, I just wanna apologize for everything that's going on. You're super cool. And I never really meant for none of this to happen. It was nice meeting you out here. I enjoyed our time. Et cetera, et cetera. And you know me, I was like, all right, Papaya, I enjoyed our time too, and I was glad seeing you and everything like that. And you know what I'm saying? I, I always check in and vice versa, and you know what I'm saying? I had a good time, and let's leave it at that. So I gave Papaya one final hug. Papaya was like, my Uber here. I was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm like, wait till you get in your Uber and everything. Papaya gets in the Uber. And that's my Miami Sneaky Link, y'all. But yeah, so thank y'all for watching your favorite superhero on YouTube, Captain Kai, that's me. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's my Miami Sneaky Link story time, part three, final part, done. There's no more on that. Now, me and Papaya did talk longer after the fact, but that's a whole different thing. It was quite eventful and it was quite an adventure. Um, would I do it again? Would I do it all over? I would. I think I really grew from the experience. Only thing I would change was stop talking to Papaya after the trip. That's what it was, guys. I'm not going to hold y'all any longer. I will see y'all when I see y'all. Deuces.